Come on, come all, wonder and awe over our performers' feats and talents. Spectacles from past and present, near and far, not for the faint of heart. We have a problem with the door. It sticks. This situation seems abby normal. This, this is, smells like a trap. I mean, I'm totally up for killing this guy. Why is the boards on the door? I don't want to end up in another waiting room. Our luck's down in the crypt, and he's waiting for you guys. You didn't even know we were coming. So the mayor, that's how you treat guests. Jackson looks at Dick and just says, are we doing this, or are we going down? He's also going to take off. Dick will head over and take a peek. You see standing before you a lizard folk, a saggy skin on its face, a Ruxy carved into it. Dick, you have one action. <laughs> what do you do? I'm trying to think. Are these doors shuttable? They are shuttable. I choose to shut the doors while yelling, Yee! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I think we established they're just saloon doors. They'll shut on their own, right? Do you want to, like, bar them or keep them closed, or what do you want to do? Yeah, well, that sounds like it's going to be more complex than a single action thing. Um, Since, yeah, we've established that they're kind of like swinging doors. Gotcha. And if you, if you want to bar them, I will consider that as, like, one interact action. In typical dick fashion, he's actually just going to run. Oh, all right. While doing the same E. Gotcha. Are we still on initiative then? Oh, yeah, we're still on initiative. Okay. And then a thing happens. That's never good. Sorbo, your turn. All right, Sorbo will move to the uh, right side of the doors. Is there, uh, actually, is there any way to like see through at all? Not without pushing them open. All right. Well, then I'm just going in. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, if we never left initiative, I'm still ra- raging, so. So you go to the other side of the door. And the moment you get to the other side of the door, a trident comes f- flying at you. Does 19 hit you? On the money. On the money. All right. That is 11 damage. And go ahead and continue your turn. So that was one move action to get up through the doors. Did I see who threw it? You see the guy to the south threw it at you. So 20 feet to the south of you, he chucked his trident at you as soon as you came through the doors. All right, well then I will finish my movement. To him, that's double move action, and then I will give him the bite. 21 hits. That that hits. Yeah. What is that? 17 damage? 17. Dang. What's it look like? Basically, as I burst through the doors, chasing these guys down... Uh, I come in, as soon as I come into the room, that guy tries to take a cheap shot and chuck that trident at me. It kind of glances across my chest, doing some pretty good damage. I, I turn, charge at him, and then just, I mean, basically slam him against that wall and crunch, like, just right into his whole, like, face section there. Nice. Jactor, your turn. I will follow after Sorbo and go through the door. Okay. Is this is this part of my moving going through the door? Or is that one action? That yeah, I used to open yeah, it's it part of your it's part of your move. Got it. I didn't count it as an interact for the bad guys, so I'm not going to count it as one for you guys. Okay. Um. Who is that? Can I do a check to see who this is? You can. You can. Um. Give me. Give me society. Thank you. Natural 20 for 26. Oh, 
Oh, I wish you would quit say. crit your attack instead of that. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> I'm trying to learn something about this person or creature. I don't know. 26, but it's a critical. Okay. They, what you can tell when you when you barge in this room, you, you immediately assess this, uh, this person standing behind the saggy skinned lizard folk and you immediately recognize them as one of the followers of Gozra that are in the hermitage and you can tell that from even from the distance that you're at you can see their their religious symbol that they're wearing around their neck it has been defaced with demonic ruins that it's 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 enough detail that you can see that it, it's been changed and warped and you are very certain that they are a threat because they can cast spells on you. Hmm. Okay. You have one more action. Well, I I only moved 20 feet and I have 15 more feet. That count, that society check, that society check is one action in two. Right. Got it. Okay. Shit. So you can finish your move, the the rest of your movement speed, and mm-hmm. then you have one more action. Okay. Well, I'm a fin. I'm gonna run up to the saggy lizard and hit him once. I still have my tiger stance because I used I had it activated the last session. Yep. Yep. Can so. you can you make it all the way to him? Yeah, I have 35 feet of movement. I only moved 20. He's a monk. Because I was right oh, there. I yeah. was there. It was 10, right, 15, yep. then 20, yep. 25, 30. I see it. Yep, you're good. You're good. Yep. So this is first attack. Tiger claws. Oh, 15. 15 is a miss. Damn. Only it had been a society. <laughs> you got to be good at something. All right, and it is going to, this lizard folk is going to to rake at you with its claws, and it's going to, is 19 hit? Nope. No? All right. Bully for you. 10 is going to miss, and a 4 is also going to miss. Yep. And the other guy is going to rush you and he's going to attack you with his trident. Old, old Faldenor is going to come up and try to stab at you with his trident. 16? That's, That's a miss, miss right? Mm-hmm. All right. And then he's going to raise his shield. Just Dick, left and right. Parrying. Dick will now come in. Then go back out, and then come in, <laughs> and go back out, <laughs> and then and then vomit on the floor. Come Blah. in, see what's happening. Blah. Like ah, get poisoned. Right <laughs> uh, I have just ah, enough to get life. right here with one act with one movement, and I will make two strikes at Old Faldenor. All right, so you step up behind uh, Jackter, my kitty, my kitty Jack. Step up behind Jackter and, and attack Faldenor. All right. I, I will twin faint, starting with Cold Iron Pick. 22. Ooh, that'll get it. Yep, what's it look oh, like? Oh, max damage. So I just, with a nice little flurry, just a flick of the wrist, I just Cold Iron Pick, and it just, the the sharp point just goes right through the helmet that he's wearing, and just thunk, right in the top of his head, and he just straight drops. Kunk. Nice. One more action. I will throw my. I have a flat. I have another flask of holy water. I will throw it at our lizard friend. You are dual wielding, right? Yeah. Well, technically, I hadn't pulled anything out yet, but I, I've got the weird, the weird quick draw thing, so I wasn't sure. But Actually, you were, if, you were holding them from last correct. session. 
Correct. And uh, what, uh, if if I use technically the throw as a attack, so it would be negative five, right? If I did it as a second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, correct. Then I do want. Correct. I do not want to throw it this time. Then. Okay. Then I will simply put my uh, put my sickle away and pull the holy water out, and that'll be the end. Okay. Yeah. You can quick draw. You can draw as part of your attack. So. You, you can put your sickle away, but you just can't draw the pile. Yet. Gotcha, gotcha. I would like to go now. Okay. Let me move you in the initiative order. All right, Liddell. All right. I'm going to move up to the door, uh, first of all. So uh, 25 feet gets me to five feet away from the door, and then I'm going to move into the room. Hopefully no okay. one's standing right there. Oh, I will get you past the door. All right. Ah. <laughs> and that's two actions for me to get here. And there's a weird line of people going to this. Uh, is the lizard guy still around? Oh, he's right here. Okay. Um. Can I? Wait, we already he already identified this one, right? The the person in the back. Okay. Yeah. Is yeah. Some kind of spellcaster. That was all the information we got out of that? Just That's a fair amount. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, well, I only have one action left. So I will cast Guidance on a person. Um, I'm going to cast Guidance on um, Sorbo. Sorbo. All right. That's it. Those are my three actions. All right. Well, she's going to throw a well-placed fireball. Surrender. (laughs) (laughs) Think twice about the decisions they've made in their life. (laughs) And beg we don't murder them. Move back. And going to cast fear on Dick. That's my secret. I'm always afraid. (laughs) (laughs) So, Dick, I need you to roll a will save. Fifteen. That is a fail. Duh. But it's only one fail, so you are frightened too. Ooh. That means on a crit fail, it would have been frightened three, and you'd have ran away like last time. I don't know what you're talking That's about. exactly what happened last time. That is exactly what happened last time. That's <laughs> actually how we started this session. <laughs> <laughs> Sorbo. All right, uh... Sorbo is going to move to the, basically the south wall of the room and down beyond the pillars. Okay. Double move action up to uh, Oogity Boogity Wizard Lady. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we are going to uh, take a bite out of Magic Crime. (laughs) (laughs) Get him, McGruff. This is a 28 hit. Oh, Holy shit. Fucking jeez. Max damage, too? Oh, almost max damage. Oh, Come no. on, AC of 18. Yeah, is that a crit? You got real quiet oh. all of a sudden. <laughs> he did get real quiet. Holy Was shit. Was it a crit? Fucking Christ. That's a crit. That's 44 <laughs> points of damage. No, no, no. No, no, that's 48. You didn't do the plus two. Yeah, you didn't have Oh my monster. god, it's 48! <laughs> Sorbo. Plus, he gets a crit card. <laughs> no, he doesn't. It's not a natural 20. Bradley. Uh, yeah, he doesn't get a crit card. Stop trying to cheat, Bradley. Point. Sorbo, <laughs> you get a hero point and tell me what it looks like. Can, okay, can I ask for some GM benevolence on that one? You have at it, Bubba. Can somebody else have a hero point? No. Oh man, I'm already full. 
All right. Well, <laughs> Are you? What's full? Yeah. Mean? Three. I, I, Max you're out more, allowed oh. more three than more than three hero points. Um. So basically, after slamming, uh, what was it? The old boy against the wall there, biting his face off. I basically just toss his body to the floor and just dead sprint across the room after I see her do some oogity boogity stuff to Dick. And I mean, just crumple her to the floor, like as I just leap from off the wall and just land on her. So she's got like Sorbo's full weight crushing down on her, claws and teeth just out, and just, I mean, devastating her altogether. Holy shit. Well, all right. Jackter, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna do. Stunning fit. I'm gonna do flurry of blows, but with tiger stance. Okay. You're a tiger now. Tiger. First, first attack. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a fucking two on the die. Oh God damn it. <laughs> Does an 18 hit? Bradley. I'm sorry. I'm still. I'm All still you need to two. do, Bradley, is is roll better. That's it. I'm aware of what I need to do. Just, it's just not happening because just, just roll better. All my characters hate me. <laughs> Bradley, an 18 hits. 18 hits. Okay, good. So you, you hit. So he, you did, hit him for he six takes. He, he takes six slashing damage, and he needs to make a fortitude save of 18. Or he is right. stunned one. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Fortitude save. All right, here we go. 26. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, you got two more actions. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes, I have two oh, more actions. Oh, because you did flurry. Yep, two flurry more actions. Flurry is one action. Ah, bastard. Uh, I'm going... Oh, you're... What, what damage does that do? Slashing. Slashing. Okay. Uh, Carry on. I'm going to step 10 feet uh, this way. As okay, action. so you're going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go south, down to the, the south towards the wall. Okay. And then as a move action, move up behind the lizard. So I'm flanking. Okay. So you're just going to move around behind him. I'm move you're around not flanking the anyone yet. With that. But you're. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you have one more action. No, that's all my actions. Stepping is an action, I thought. No. Oh. Oh. D- well, because because I, I have a sp- I have a speed of thirty five, and I can step ten feet with tiger stance. Mm. Okay. But isn't stepping um, an action in this in two E? I thought it was. Stepping is an action. It is an action. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's all my actions. I just wanted to get on the other side of the lizard. All right. All right. So it is going to... Come in. It's going to turn around and slash at you, Jactor. Yeah. That's With a critical, a critical failure. Fail. Fail. That is a critical fail. Yay. All right. Until healed, you take negative two circumstance penalty to checks and saving throws. All right. So, everything? All right. And it's going to attack you a second time. With another With natural another negative one. one. Another one. Another natural one. Oh, this no. Is crap. Amazing. Double nat one. This is the luckiest combat we've had. You take a negative one <laughs> circumstance penalty into attack rules until you score a critical hit. All right, so he basically oh. takes a negative three to all of his attacks. Um, and fuck it, he's gonna <laughs> double down or triple down and attack you a third time. <laughs> That's a and oh, my oh my god! Wow. Oh my god! There's something broken. That's three in a row. <laughs> Holy roll 20. That's no a, way. a modified zero, by the way. A modified zero. He just rolled a modified zero. Oh, my God. Oh, Until no. healed, you take a 
Uh, yeah, he's your guy. You can really murder him. All right. Clumsy one. <laughs> um, How did that even happen? That guy's dead. Dick, your turn. <laughs> Would I know if there is a way to remove said worm from said lizard? Mm, oh man! Give me, give me a religion check. Okay, I am currently at a negative two on religion. Mm, nope. Oh. That has to be a first. No, I'm, you did it last session. No, three, <laughs> three in a row. Three, no, no, three in a row? row? Yeah, that's something. That's got to be a first. Um, what would I have to gamingly do to try to forcibly make him drink this holy potion? To drink it? He would have to be unconscious and or suffocating like the other asshole was when, when Rizzo shot him. Okay, I can't just like get him in a grapple and then feed it to him or anything. You, um, if you could grapple him and detain him, you could make him drink it. If you could do that. Yeah. I will attempt to grapple. How does, what do you want me to roll? <laughs> that, that is an, uh, athletics check against his fortitude 42. DC. Is that correct, Sorbo? Yep. 24. 24. I cannot believe the way this combat is turning out. Uh, you grapple him he's grappled okay i would like to try to pour a holy water down his throat uh 20 that's actually 22 because you take it that's with the, the negative two or no it's not yeah it's 22 you're right uh brian what happens when you critically succeed at a grapple check oh wait no it's not a critical succeed i'm sorry i'm sorry it's not critical uh but you do succeed you have him grappled um Actually, that is already counting the negative two because I'm normally at nine on athletics. So yeah, it is a twenty-four. They just didn't show it in there for some other reason. Oh, all right. Oh, because you you, you built in the negative two. Yeah, got it. I've got frightened. Clicked. Yeah, if you crit on that, you're completely immobilized. Right. Yeah, he didn't crit on it, so he's just grabbed. You're immobilized and flat-footed. Okay, so. You can do a regular attack with it, and he's flat-footed. So you've got him grabbed, and you've got a bonus because he's flat-footed. So you can hit him with that um, holy vial. If you want to do... I'll let you do it as melee if you want. Because you're just, like, smashing it up against his head. Thirteen. Thirteen. With the flat-footed, it misses. Gotcha. And that's my turn. All right, so you you run up, you you grab this lizard folk and try to smash this vial against his head, and um, while he's struggling, it kind of slips out of your hand and, and falls to the ground. Liddell, your turn. And I'm making myself a frightened one at the end of my turn. Correct, yeah. Um, I would like to divine lance the lizard. So, All right, so what's that do? Oh, it does damage because I'm good. Um, uh, I roll an attack roll. Uh, I rolled a. You're gonna take. You're gonna take a negative one because you're shooting through dick. Hey, that's oh. fine. I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna roll. Uh, re-roll that though with my hero point. Okay. One of my two, three hero points. Twenty. Twenty. Not a nat twenty, but dirty twenty. Dirty twenty, but I'll take it with max damage of twelve. Yeah, that hits. Uh, max damage 12. All right. And that is, what type of damage is that? Good. Good. All right. And I have one more action. Mm Mm-hmm. I would like to, um, cast. No, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You good? Um, uh, I feel like there's something useful I could do, but... I'm going to try to identify, because I don't know jack shit about this lizard. So what do I need to roll? Uh, give me a religion check. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to think of something useful to do, and I was like, I don't know what to do. 21? Yeah, that, that gets it. You can tell that it is a worm lick, mm-hmm. and it's a, it's a worm that will overtake people's bodies. Mm-hmm. 
to give you some kind of information, it is weak to cold iron, good, and sonic. Oh, Dick, use your cold iron. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Uh, she's dead because Sorbo ripped her throat out. Sorbo! All right, Sorbo's going to, uh, I mean, basically jump 15 foot up here to beside the lizard. And I will, uh, I will, I'm actually going to, uh, claw at him with, uh, non-lethal. Interesting. Okay. 23. Negative four. Yeah, that, that hits. And you do... 16. It says you're only doing a... A plus one? Yes. Additional damage? On the claws, it's plus one. On the teeth, it's plus two. Oh, 16. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I will follow up with a... Uh, I'll follow up with a second uh, claws attack. 24? <laughs> 24 hits. Yeah. Yeah. Four thirteen. Did you roll the second attack? Yeah. Eight you did. Minus four. 13. 18 Good. plus 10 all minus right. four. Yep, yep, yep. All right, all right. So minus 13. That'd be my three. <laughs> all right. So Sorbo jumps up next to these these pillars and claws out at this saggy lizard folk. All right. Jactor, your turn. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing that I did before and failed, but hopefully a fucking crit. Uh, I'm going to Tiger Stance, uh, Flurry of Blows on the Lizard. Okay. Why Why is this... <laughs> <laughs> Roll fucking... 20 hates you so much. <laughs> Roll 20 hates you so much. A 10. Have you considered using a hero point like I did? A total 10. I'm going to use a hero point because that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. All right. Use a hero I'm point. using a hero point. Yes. I have one left. All right. Oh, never mind. Oh I take God. it back. I'm use your hero point. <laughs> <laughs> I already did it. I already said I did it. Well, I mean, you haven't rolled it. You haven't rolled yet. Fuck it. I'm going to roll it again. <laughs> All right. Roll it again. It'll probably be a natural one. Oh, my God. <laughs> 13. 13. All oh, that right. hits, right? No. No. There's no, no. way that hits. He's flanked, no, and he's taking a negative two to some things. <laughs> and he's also grappled. Nope. Yeah. Sure don't hit. <laughs> okay, second attack of the Flurry of Blows. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking fuck that shit. Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Keep going, man. What? Keep going. Just do it. Just wail on kitty. You'll eventually get a 20. Uh, yeah, man. Just... <laughs> it's like monkeys Swing and away. The good man. news is going. He's, uh, away, he's, uh, he's flat-footed. <laughs> Like these, <laughs> these are coming close. <laughs> like, are you sure that thirteen want. doesn't hit? <laughs> well, we we already know an eighteen is a crit, so he can't. The thirteen couldn't have been too far off, but it was. Yeah, I think he has like a negative five. So <laughs> he's got a negative two to his AC. The negative, well, maybe a negative. He's also flat-footed because we're we're flanking him. Right, so that's like negative four, which means no, that... no, no. He's he's flat-footed because you're grappled, but he's also flat-footed because you're flanking because it's uh, the same yeah. negative. So right, it, so that's it just stack. negative two. So it'd be like a negative four is where he's at on AC. I think right. I think unless so, yeah. one of those ACs didn't affect his. Um, I think it was just his saves. So he's probably just at negative two. Yeah, it's just his checks when he rolls a oh, check. His checks. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so right. I'm gonna so... guess it's sixteen. If I had to guess. <laughs> <laughs> what his AC is. <laughs> I was just trying I was just trying okay. to give Jack her hope. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Swing away, man. Third Bradley, attack. all you gotta do is Third. Bradley, Sit. listen, listen. This is my recommendation to you. Roll better. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just roll better. Just roll better. Yeah, just try that. <sighs> try it. Jack is happens. going to pull out his staff. <laughs> That's one action. Why? And then he's going to hit with the staff because he doesn't take a fucking negative with it. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He does an it. Attack action. He's. It's an attack action, which the the multiple attack penalties apply to the staff. Are you serious? 
Yes. Yeah. Multiple attack penalties apply to all. And he's not he pulls out the lesser smoke stick and sits down and just calls it a day, <laughs> he's man. Like, Fuck it, man. I'm just going to smoke this lesser smoke stick. And he's not going to do that. He's just, just going to fucking him, attack with Keep his punching. fucking punches. Still I'm doing tiger one. stance. Don't cause... do a one. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. be a one. <laughs> it's not a one. It's not a it's one. A ten it's... plus six minus eight. So it's an eight. An eight. You got an Max eight. damage. I think you get one more attack still, <laughs> don't you? To be fair, if you'd have rolled that on the first attack, I think it would have hit. You do. You do have one more attack, Bradley. Uh huh. But it's at like a fucking negative what? Ten? Eight? No, it's at a negative eight. Oh, let's do it again. My <laughs> six. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. At least you didn't crit fail any of those. So you're, you're not doing terrible. Not doing good. But you're not doing terrible. <laughs> but I'm good at society All checks. Right. Did you roll above a 10 on anything? <laughs> the society check. He rolled above a 10 on a society check. <laughs> Statistically, you should have rolled better at some point. You would think. This creature is going to feel pity and put me out of my misery. Laugh at Jactor. <laughs> it's going to ignore Jactor because it really has Jactor hasn't really done anything. <laughs> Jactor might as well not even be there. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take a slash at Sorbo. Twenty five. Oh yeah, that hits. And it's gonna do ten points of damage. And then it's going to take a slash at Dick. Uh, that's a 10 on the die. Or not on the die, but that's a 10 total. And it's going to... Kill me? Move back to these double doors in the back of the room. Can it move while grabbed? Oh, you're right. He is grabbed. I totally forgot. I forgot he was grappled. I should have put that in. He's just going to attack... Dick a third time because he's got him grappled. 13? That's a miss. Alright, Dick. So Dick is thinking this is still technically the body of a friend. So he wants to not just destroy the body. So is <laughs> is there such thing as a non-lethal cold iron attack? Cold iron pick attack? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would like to do... Again, I'm trying to... M- Merc the worm, but not the body. You know what I'm saying? Dick is cognizant that he's got a dude in there. Right. Based off of your guys' experience, you know that the body is just skin at this point. So your friend is a alligator coat, alligator skin coat. But like if we're if we lop his head off, that that go that, that puts an extra obstacle in the way of maybe a revivic buy or something, right? <laughs> mm, not really. You just need a piece of his body. <laughs> just... <laughs> All right. So I'll start with my first attack. All right. A twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Doing five damage, and that is that Wait, enough? Wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, twenty-four technically. To go back, you were holding the cold iron pick. Yes. And then you put away your sickle. You grabbed him. Mm hmm. You would have had to drop the cold iron pick to grab the vial of holy water to smash him. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, I put the, the sickle away because I, I used an action. Yeah. You, you could use the sickle, but I'm gonna say you had to drop the cold, cold iron pick to grab the holy water gotcha 14 or 16 I'll, I'll let the uh, I'll let that first die roll count so it was a 17 so the first attack counts yeah so 17 plus 9 hits um, you're just not gonna get the cold iron damage for it uh, so you get 8 slashing for it Plus three sneak. Yeah. All right. What's it look like? Well, since it's the sickle now, um, Dick, you know, he likes this guy. He doesn't want to do it. So you just see kind of some hesitancy, but you see just a really quick flick of the wrist. He just tries to hit him right on the nape of the back of the neck as hard as he can. 
just to try to just get it done quickly. And you were doing uh, non-lethal damage? No, he just went for it. He, you could just see he's hesitant that he doesn't like to do this to his butt. Okay, all right, all right. So he, he with a flick of his wrist, he, he runs this sickle across the the back of the, of the head of this creature. And um, Give me a luck roll. What is it? Just uh, just give me percentiles or, or oh. a flat d20 roll. Six. Six. Okay. So what happens is when you bring the sickle through the back of its head, the, the worm kind of gives way at a certain point and you end up cutting through half of the face from back to front. So like kind of splays open and this worm starts spilling out through this severed section in the head. And we're out of initiative. Dick makes it a point to pull the the rest of the worm out of his body, fling it across the room. Uh, uh, I don't feel so good. Jackter just sulks because he didn't do shit in that entire fucking fight. Um, I'm not quite sure why you all are so sad at the moment. Dick oh no, Jack too sad because he didn't do anything in the fight. He basically was just there and was just non-threat. <laughs> didn't do shit. Dick walks up to Lydow and says, before you joined us, uh, we had a healer in our party. This was him. He, uh, for some stupid reason, we're still not sure why, he just kind of wandered off into a yeah. graveyard and uh, got oh, murdered. Here, guys, come on. <laughs> he was like, he was killed. A, like totally his body something. was. Yeah, what, just like, he just wandered off by himself and got killed. Obviously, had some. Yeah, we don't know why. We were all just sitting there. Uh, Sorbo was talking about investments. We had plenty of stuff in the church to do, but for some odd reason, he just left. Did and he have then a the next wish? thing, yeah, I guess I don't. I, I I'm we're considering it a suicide, and we're we just yeah because he did. We, it. we, I we mean, blame ourselves for not twice, seeing. Actually, twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> twice. Wait, he's died twice? No, he went out, talked to the people that killed him, came back in, went out again to die. <laughs> I mean, that just that just sounds like poor poor tactical decisions as far as I'm concerned. Why would he do yeah. such a thing? And you know, he wasn't a sl- a smart lizard and there was a lot of things we didn't like about him. But, you know, he was our friend and it's just difficult to know that, you know, after he was killed, his body was possessed by, you know, one of these uh, verm-like worms, and uh, he fled, and we just, you know, it's a relief to get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of vengeance, but it's still a sad thing that our friend has passed. Wait a minute. Is that the same lizard that... um was that the bonfire? Correct. Although there's some sort of, I don't know if it's a multiple personality disorder or a broken lizard situation, but uh, yeah, there's a few different people up there. Okay. And then, and then he was possessed by a, a, a demon or a worm lick or whatever. Yes. Demon worm. Hmm. Well, I mean, since he's just skin at this moment, uh, can we just roll him up and take him with us? If I mean, if we were going to try to resurrect Dash, maybe. See if we can get a two-for-one deal? Yeah, maybe buy one, get one free. I like that. Nothing else. He might be some boots that might fit Dick to go with that hat. I, I was... But I mean, I was thinking possibly Ash might like a purse or, um, you know, yeah. You guys are just wrong. Just wrong. <laughs> and Dick wanders over and starts rifling through the uh, the <laughs> warlock magic user's stuff um, to see if there's anything useful he can steal. As you start moving close to the magic user, you guys are standing in this, this beautiful hallway and the ceiling above you 
is a mosaic tile of the sky, and it looks almost like there's a storm ready to brew, as if lightning's going to strike anywhere inside this room at any time, because the way the, the clouds above you are roiling, and below you, you see this depiction of coral and schools of fish and, and different creatures in the sea, and, and on the double doors, you see... The, this diorama of fish swimming and beasts walking the earth and birds soaring in the sky and it's just this beautiful relief carving of of all of nature and as you get close to the the caster you see the creatures on on this door come to life and they start speaking in this bizarre tongue and, and you hear them say the corruption has shut this door but cannot keep us out. Cleanse these halls of the corruption that infests it, and we will open this door for you. Or if you are one of the chosen of the winds and the waves, then you may enter. Did anybody else hear that, or am I having a stroke? Everyone heard it. Good. I believe you're having a stroke. Oh, it would just be the great cap on this day. Out of all the beasts, is there any lions on there? There are lions on there. I'm just kidding, I heard it too. There is a lion on there. I'm gonna go stand next to it and say, Hey Liddell, paint me a selfie! <clears throat> oh, great, hold on. And he pulls out his paintbrushes and a canvas that he has in his pack. Uh, this thing looks just like me! That's not how selfies work. That's not how any <laughs> Jack, of this works. Jack, 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 this is this game. starts meditating while all this chaos <laughs> is happening around him. By meditating, he means smoking a lesser smoke stick. Yeah, we got it. Oh, no, no, no. You don't understand what uh, Liddell is actually doing is painting a painting of himself looking at Sorbo. Oh, that's standing fantastic. Standing by the lions. So, yeah. That's fantastic. Okay. And then he hands it to Sorbo. <laughs> How much time are you taking? It's a quick sketch. Quick sketch. Time enough for me to rifle through the magic user. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hell, Dale, this is your face. <laughs> you said selfie. Just... <laughs> oh, for Pete's sakes. <laughs> All right. Well, you didn't give me a selfie. Do you have any of the, uh, do you have any of those oogity boogity, um, Make me not feel so bad in the in the bank still. Um, I have a few. Yeah, I also took some damage. Yeah, where where is everyone sitting at health wise? Because I have two more castings. I'm twenty out of forty four. I'm eleven out of fifty. Okay, I mean we can. Uh, oh, you mean you're at eleven out of fifty? Yeah. Um. And what are you at, Bradley? Uh, twenty out of forty four. Okay. Yeah. So I guess if I do the three action one, um, I'm full up. Okay. I mean, I'll at least cast it on them. All right. I only got one more in the bank now. I would like to say, way to go, Dick, for not being poisoned and almost dead right now. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you got y'all just like ha ha because I ran, but I knew that I should not be the first person to go through this door against four people. Wait a minute. If I do the three action one, it disperses it's thirty the... foot emanation. Hold on. Two action is you increase the hit points restored by eight. And how much are you down, Bradley? It's up to you. I'm down. I'm only. I'm down at 20 out of 44. So I'm only All down. Right. Do, do you guys have any healing potions? Because I have two out of minor heal. I have two minor healing potions. I'll I drink those give... for that. And I'll do Sorbo with the two action. That way I can get Sorbo up higher. Okay. Does that make sense? So it's, I'm going to just down both of them. So it's a D8 yeah. for each one. Because I'm just thinking, like, mathematically, that's the best option. Especially since Sorbo's more likely to do damage to stuff. Uh, 24 yeah, Sorbo. I, I get it. I'm, I, I'm getting it. I'm useless. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. I already knew that. I'm just not going with it. And it has been less than an hour since I healed everybody, so I cannot do another medicine thing for uh, probably another half an hour. That is correct. You get 24 back, Sorbo. Okay, so I find leather armor, gray robes, trident, and a wooden religious symbol. Wow. That is correct. 
So we now have four gray robes, four tridents. Add two more two more hide armor, two more gray robes, two more tridents, and two more wooden shields from the, the other two retainers in this room. From uh Faldenor and Ever. Gotcha, yeah. Is the religious symbol wooden or metal? It's wooden. 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 It's okay. wooden. Yeah, all their religious symbols have been or I think are always wooden, I believe. Well, how the fuck do you know? Because I played a fucking cleric who had a wooden symbol. This could have been a, a guy who had some cash. Yeah. You don't know what I got. You play your character. Don't play all my P- NPCs. <laughs> yeah, I'll play my shitty character. They can't fucking hit anything. <laughs> Just roll better. Which one? But it's... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there was nothing on uh, Valiant. No, the lizard folk did not have anything on them. Hey, does anybody need uh, leather armor? I have studded leather armor, so this isn't going to help me. Uh... Uh, I can't wear armor, otherwise I don't get my unarmored good kitty bonuses. So no. scrunch, scrunch him on the head. <laughs> and Dick walks up and checks this door to the north. You are downright adorable. Okay, now he just moves further away from all of you and fucking just sulks in the corner because you're being dicks. Being a loner. Uh, Dick, what are you doing? I'm checking the door to the north. Okay, in the door to the north. Oh, by yourself! Nobody questions when he does it, but when I do it, I get bitched at for it. Mmm, I see how it is. We're right here! (laughs) We're right here! (laughs) The door you wanted to check was outside and up! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the fact that you don't realize the difference between 100 yards away and 3 feet away is the reason you talk. <laughs> but you guys were right there. Technically 15. Technically so you guys were all right there. <laughs> Fucking one move. move like one yeah, action. <laughs> no, nah, you're fine, Bradley. Get back up. My audio truck's going to be fucking silent now. <laughs> What's your um, perception modifier there, Dick? Is it seven? My perception modifier is a seven. All right. Seriously, though, if he's checking that door, I would like to move further away from the door. Yeah, y- yes. You guys can move appropriately. You see Dick is checking the door. You have time to move. I'm going to hide behind Sorbo. Jack just sitting in the corner. Jackter, what's wrong? Nothing. Why are you standing in this corner by yourself? It's useless. Didn't do anything. You're not useless. You've had a couple unlucky, unlucky strikes there. That's all. Sorbo did everything. That's why I'm always going to be in the background. I mean, at the very least, you provided flanking. That's useful. Hmm. We're a team. Even if um, one person walks or gets struck out, you know, it's still a team effort. Yeah, but I want to contribute. I don't want to just be there. I want to do something. Sometimes contributing is backing up your friends. Let's go back up, Dick. Well, he, he can open the door first. That's when he might need the backup for him. Jack to just move his... Okay. Well, when you're ready, I'll be over here, friend. And he moves back over behind him. Robo. And that's because Liddell's much nicer than me. No, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear... Just feel the sarcasm just in the back of your brain. <laughs> Because I'm so used to it. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> Dick. Yes. From I was the trying other to be nice. Door. Jesus. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jeremy. Go ahead. <laughs> from the other side of the door. Dick. From <laughs> the other side of the door. You hear what sounds like an argument. You hear two people 
what sounds like two people going back and forth, going at it, and you hear something about, well, I didn't put that there. Well, that's where I wanted to put it. Well, that's a stupid place for a chamber pot. Is this door locked? It is not locked. All right, so I will turn to everybody else in the room and say, hey, guys, there's two people in here. Help me out. With what, math? Um, possible murdering? Jackter moves up into the corner next to the, on the right side of the door. I reach over and scratch him behind the ear. I bat, I bat his hand away. <laughs> don't touch me. No, you don't. You rolled a two. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. I'm just fucking, I'm just fucking with you. It's fine. <laughs> um. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, you know what? With, with how this night's been going, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just roll just to see how much I want to fucking do. <laughs> let's let's see let's see if I bat it away. This is gonna be the time that he, he rolls a twenty. <laughs> nope, nope. You sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty gets That's a, a screw on the die. <laughs> yep. What, Bradley? <laughs> T- hit he didn't that match button. Damage, though. He did do. He did. If he had a hit, I'm hit gonna just be button. muted. I'm gonna just be muted. No, no, and if no. you need me to talk, I'm gonna. No, no. Just Bradley. Just roll a bunch of d20s. Just roll a bunch of d20s inside of of roll twenty to to let it clear that kind of reset. Yeah, because you it really has been fucking you over with rolls. And I mean, admittedly, it was fucking over the GM too. He rolled three natural ones. Oh, in I, a row. I did roll three three nat ones so. back to back. That was that's why we're all still intense. alive. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that and Sorbo's ridiculous crit that one shot at my caster. So yeah, here we go. Sorbo, get over here. All right. Fine, I'll move. I step. No, back there's room for all three. You stay there. You stay right there. I'm right here. I'm I'm just outside of if somebody decides to like throw fire out the door open it up and see if we can talk to these people I am straight up stealth opening it might be more prisoners who knows just let them know that it's uh you need to contact them about their extended warranty That'll or should I should I I, I look it around and I say should I <laughs> knock try it first off hold on what's everyone's diplomacy garbage or no I'm a six uh, seven. I am a seven. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm a six. <laughs> hmm. We could potentially talk these people down if it starts to escalate. Or we could try to get information. I would like to assist Sorbo's diplomacy. All right. Well, then I guess I'll move over to the door <laughs> if we're going to assist diplomacy <laughs> rolls. <laughs> 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 this is an amazing idea. Uh, I'm gonna stand back here though. You could technically stand in the same square as him. You're just like hidden behind his calf muscle. I, I don't really want to. <laughs> I feel like that's too close. I'm gonna stand back here. But it's much more adorable. But I'm going to try to assist with this diplomacy. Uh, here's my assist roll. Twenty-five. Uh, I'm sorry. Um. Uh, GM was buffering. What dumbass thing are you guys doing right now? <laughs> We're going we to try to diplomacy the people the toilet touchers. on the other side of the door. <laughs> We're just getting We're ready. We're attempting to... to, when we open the door, we're going to attempt to diplomacy to people inside yeah. said room. Diplomatic immunity. Okay. All right. Sorbos attempting <laughs> diplomacy with assistance from Liddell. Yeah. I, I was rolled uh, assist on it. I got. I mean, 25. I can also assist. Yeah, why don't we all try to assist with the diplomacy <laughs> roll? <laughs> Anybody can roll anything. It's too e. <laughs> I don't assist. You sure don't. Do you have to use? Do you have to use diplomacy to assist diplomacy, or can you use a different skill to assist diplomacy? Yes. 
that. No, you cannot <laughs> use lore <laughs> ropes. You cannot answer. <laughs> Anybody can do anything. Uh, tell me. All right. I tell you what. Justify to me how lore ropes is going to help with your diplomacy. Maybe today. they're into that sort of thing. <laughs> If these people inside are tied up, they'll be happy to know that this guy can untie them. I mean... I got two I mean, words for you, GM. Two words for you, GM. Friendship bracelets. <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> that's probably the best possible answer. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 25. See, Friendship I was going to say, how could it not help? <laughs> uh, no, that's the, that's that's a vague... French of bracelets, that's, that's pretty good. That's nope. pretty good. <laughs> not um, help. Not help. Oh, you're God fired. damn. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> how could it not help? <laughs> this, hey... Is this thing on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take my wife, give... please. <laughs> Seriously, take her. <laughs> oh my god. I get no respect. All right, no, yeah, definitely friendship bracelets. Please, let's try friendship this. bracelets. I'm in. All right, Liddell loves this idea. He thinks this is great. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Seriously, we haven't really tried just being nice to people yet. Let's try being nice. Everybody needs a friend. All right. Um... <laughs> Sorbo, what do you do? Um, really well, it looks like. <laughs> with a 24, <laughs> with assistance from, it looks like, two other people. Um, no, so, one. Okay. One. <laughs> Wait, I didn't. I didn't help. Liddell didn't help. <laughs> Liddell did not help. Liddell just didn't make it worse. I got a twenty-five. <laughs> I know. Oh no, no, no! I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Liddell helped. Dix did not help. He just didn't make it worse. <laughs> so I made two friendship bracelets, and I'm just holding them. Out. The problem is they're telling people that in didn't there. Help. No. no, it's rope lore. You just told them how to make friendship bracelets. <laughs> like this? Oh my god! It's what it's. He it, just told them what friendship bracelets mean. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, Bradley. Uh-huh. You fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you all next week. <laughs> no, no, no. Next week we're doing Too Fast Midnight. Yep. Oh, no, I'll see you in two weeks. I'll see you never. You have to resubmit your application. In triplicate. Oh. You know, we actually didn't get it the first time. Um, you're going to need to send it back in. I'm sorry. Yeah, HR really needs that, Bradley. Mm. Nobody here is actually sure who. I love my mom now. <laughs> you need a copy of your birth certificate, um, the name of the road you grew up on, your first pet. Um, first vehicle. First vehicle. Yep, we definitely need that one. Mm-hmm. Are we hiring him or creating a porn star name for him? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I don't want to know because <laughs> it's going to be weird. <laughs>